Welcome back guys. Today, we are in the scooter lab. We're gonna be teaching you all about wheel size. Let's get into it. Just like us human beings, wheels come in all shapes and sizes. The smallest, 98 millimeter, you're only gonna find these on your foldable Razor scooters. We sell them in case you need to get your little sister a new scooter wheel. If you are at all doing tricks, you should be running metal cores and the smallest you can get is 100 millimeter. These guys are great if you need to save some weight, save some money, or if you have a little bit older scooter that only fits up to 100 millimeter, that's what you're gonna be riding on. Most of you guys watching this video are sitting right here, 110 millimeters. That's the industry standard. Pretty much gonna fit any complete that you can get today and almost every deck and fork on the market. One step up from the industry standard is 115 millimeters, giving you just a little bit more clearance. If you wanna go even bigger, we also have 120, and the biggest wheel on the market right now, 125. I don't see us going above 125. A lot of people already think 120 is too big, so maybe you wanna check out 115 right in the middle and feel like home. Now looking at this, you might say, but Sean, Dr. Sean, sorry, I didn't go to scooter school for nothing. Dr. Sean, what's up with these different widths here? <laughs> oh, blew it. <clears throat> what about these different widths here? Well, fear not. Here at the Scooter Lab, we're gonna educate you on everything. In scootering, there's two widths that stand out as the cream of the crop. Pretty much you're riding one or you're riding the other. These are 24 millimeter wide and 30 millimeter wide. You can see right there the difference in these two. Why you'd wanna ride a 24? Gonna be a little bit thinner, it's the industry standard. Why you do want the 30? You like a lot of grip, and heck, you're not a weight weenie. Those are your two most popular wheel widths, but a couple companies out there are offering everything in between. We also have 26 millimeter wide and 28 millimeter wide. So you can really tune in your scooter exactly how you wanna ride it. If you got any questions about if your fork or deck will fit a specific wheel, shoot us an email or give us a call. Vault's here to help you, baby. James drew up this lovely diagram here just to show you how many options there are. We got one, two, three, four, five, six different wheel diameters to choose from and two main widths. So plenty of options. Moving on from width and diameter, we have axle size. The industry standard are all gonna be running an eight millimeter axle. If you have 110, you're probably running an eight millimeter axle. Where you're gonna see a big jump up is if you jump to that 12 standard, you're gonna have a 12 millimeter axle. These bearings are gonna be stronger, last longer, and theoretically, you're gonna go faster. Right now, 12 standard's only gonna come in the big 125 millimeter. If you're gonna go big, might as well go all the way. Another thing you need to be aware of is not only is the size of your axle, the width, the diameter all gonna change. That's all gonna change what fork and deck you can ride. This will not fit on a tilt tomahawk. I'm sorry, you should mod it, send me the picture, but you're gonna have to shave off half that fork to get this to fit. This will fit on a tilt tomahawk. With all these different widths, diameters, different types of bearings, there's gonna be a lot of compatibility issues. For example, 110 by 24, we also got 110 by 28. The width of the urethane is 28, but the bearing slot is still the standard 24. So it can get really confusing out there. And let's say you wanna start trying out some Radix. Well, you're gonna to need to make sure you have that eight mil axle and a fork that fits 30. You wanna try out 12 standard, you're gonna need 12 mil axle, 30 millimeter wide fork, and fit 125s. So there's a lot of room for error here, guys, and the vault is here to help you out. So if you wanna buy any wheel and you're not sure if it's gonna fit your fork, give us a call, shoot us an email, Hit that hotline bling, and we'll get you situated. If you need a little bit more information, let us know in the comment section what we should delve into next time. I know we could talk a lot more about bearing sizes and axle sizes on everything. So if that's a video you guys need, we're gonna supply it. Make sure to subscribe to all of our social networks. We're out here communicating with you guys because we do it for the fans. You wanna stay plugged in because we're always talking about ride days, new products, fun stuff like that. And our stories are pretty darn funny. So see you next time on our YouTube and throw a like on Instagram. Bye.